Namaste, my dear masters, my dear friends, and my dear gods. Today, let us understand, let us revise the four conditions of our own self. First, let us look into the physical body, that is the physical condition and how karma works here. The law of karma simply says one thing, what you give comes back to you ten times. You must take care of your physical body very well. Having nothing is not a problem, but being in debt is a problem. When a soul takes birth, it doesn't have any karma balance. It doesn't have any experience. But over lifetimes, we accumulate a lot of negative karma. And then we are in the debt. When you are in the debt, you are into more problem. Suppose you have a debt of 10 lakhs. Every time you earn a penny, that whatever you earn is going back to the clearance of the debt and you are never into the ground zero. Whatever you hard work you do, whatever you earn, everything is going into the depths. So you are never even in the zero level. So being in zero is not nothing. Being in debt is nothing. Similarly for a soul, it is very important for us to be not having any balance of karma so that whatever the reason why we are born, we focus on that. Otherwise, everything we do, the karma balance will pull us down. We must never overspend the resources of our body. You must give good rest to the body. Three hours meditation is good. Doing excess and excess and excess of anything will not help you. The whole night without the sleep, if you trouble the body, within a few days, the body will break down. If you are continuously watching some videos, without a break, then the mind breaks and the eyes breaks. That should be a limit for anything. The body resources should not be overused. Be it ears, be it nose, be it mouth, be it stomach, be it eyes. Anything which you overuse, the physical condition becomes worst. I have spoken to a few people who comes to me for counseling or help or guidance. Among all those cases I have seen in my life, I still remember one case where that girl continuously overuses the mind like anything for a few days and then for a few weeks she just go to the bed, sleep and the mind doesn't work. I found out the cause, why it is happening, because of the overthinking. If the cause is removed, the karma is removed, the effect is removed. But consciously, certain people don't wish to come out. They love to be in that zone. There are certain people who love to be in depression always. No matter what others speak and they bring out, again they want to go back to that same state. The over usage of the physical body is not what the soul wants. When you look at the nature, every animal hunts, 
eats it takes good rest if it is not hungry it won't eat the natures take rest in the nights i have read in the history there was a famous business person who did not sleep he was very successful in business but at the age of 40 he passed away if you overuse the resources the body will break down one day you must know the limits you must know where to draw the line otherwise later you won't be able to repair it this is about the physical condition if you give good rest if you do right meditation if you eat the right food the body always cooperates you without this physical body being healthy you won't be even able to do meditation this is the vehicle of the soul never ignore the physical body the second thing is the emotional condition every time we react emotional reactions we damage our emotional bodies what is reaction let us understand the term reaction when a situation comes when a person speaks to you based on that if you do something it is reaction if you ignore and do what you really want to do is action if somebody scolds me i don't react i simply smile and i say what i am and you are both are same this is action if i get angry and if i start yelling at that person how dare you speak like that to me then it is a reaction if you reflect to others it is a reaction if you are what you are then it is an action if you react what happens is emotionally your body gets much more damaged every time you react your emotional body is getting hit it is a choice you can say no i am going to react i am going to be over protective if somebody says something i am not going to leave that's absolutely fine but remember the consequences are your emotional body will get hit if you don't take care of your reactions you are not taking care of your emotional body the next very important thing is about the pity we should never pity on anybody pity simply takes and copy of their emotional problems and add into your emotional body. it won't help you it won't help them it will damage your emotional body if you want to help help if you don't want to help don't help having pity will not help you having pity means you don't understand the law of karma in other words you are like ayo papa achcho oh my god you are emotionally connected to that person seeing the mental and the physical state a bridge gets created between your emotional body and their emotional body so for you take their karma a xerox copy comes to you it is not going to relieve them they are going to be what they are additionally you are going to add all those things in your emotional body never pity anybody you can have compassion teach them meditation give them food give them money give them clothes whatever it is let them face their karma if you are pitying then you are not understanding the law of karma the next important thing how to take care of the emotional condition is that any picturization you do about others oh that person is like this this girl is like this that man is like this any picturization you do it immediately crystallizes in your emotional world 
And what happens? That your emotional aura gets hardened like a glass. It should be like a water. Your emotional body should be like a water. It should not be like a hardened glass. If you are judging too much, if you are having complaints on anybody too much, then the emotional body's aura gets hardened. It is like a glass. And then any small shock that happens in your life, the glass shatters. Withstanding those shatters is very difficult. People often get suicidal thoughts because of the glass shatters. People who are getting suicidal thoughts, it indicates that their emotional bodies are weak. It is not their mental body, their emotional bodies are weak. Either it is hardened or they are not taken care of their emotions properly. They did not express their emotions. All those accumulated will hit them back. You have to take care of your physical condition. You have to take care of your emotional conditions. Well. Third comes the mental conditions. That is the mind. That is the seat of the astral body. When it comes to the mental condition, you must take care of your thoughts. Every evil thought we have, every thought where we want to destroy others, it will damage your mental body. It will damage your mind. It will damage your astral body. <coughs> Before the thought manifests and goes to others, the damage already starts within you. Your evil thought about others may not have even manifested, but having that evil thought is destroying you. Your motive should be good. Every person I meet, every person whom with I talk, I first understand what is the motive behind those people came in my life. I'll check what is the motive. I don't see anything, but I only check what is the motive, why they are here. If their motive is not right, I simply tell them, go meditate, I can't help you. Because first they need to correct the mind. The corrupted mind has to be corrected. The motive has to be corrected. Then the mental condition improvises. You have to take care of your mind, your mental conditions by having the right motives. <clears throat> the fourth is the soul condition. We saw the physical condition, we saw emotional condition, we saw mental condition. The fourth is the soul condition. How are you going to improvise, maintain, take care of your soul? It is only possible through the service. What is service? Doing any help to your mother, your son, or your neighbors, or your friends, relative is not service. Doing something to someone whom you don't know, no way related to you, that comes under service. Doing anything to the family members or friends, it is a dharma. Expecting anything in return when you do something is not service, it's a business. You do something, forget. When I do some service, I don't expect anything from them. I don't expect them to remember that I have done something in the past. They have to respect me when I go. No, I simply forget what I did. In that way, the fala, that is the fruits of the service, we will get in the higher worlds, not here. If you are not in service, then you are not taking care of your soul. Second is the self renunciation you must always check, always check. I always check myself against the 18 principles of PSSM. Am I following everything? 
Am I ignoring anything? Am I weak in that anything? Is there any area of improvisation? I always check. Is there any ego getting developed? Is there anywhere inside me craving for name and fame? We always check. And one more final thing which I want to tell you today is if you want your soul condition to be good, you must have a lot of joy by seeing the success of others. When you become success, having joy is it's very abnormal. Everybody has that. But when you get joy by looking at the success of others, that is the perfect soul condition. If another person, third eye opens, I get a lot of joy. If another person is able to talk with another great master, channel some message, I get a lot of joy. When all of you read books, when your Sahasrara petals opens up, I get a lot of joy. When somebody's karma vanishes, I get a lot of joy. When people are meditating, I get a lot of joy. When Buddha became enlightened, he wanted to increase his joy, so he started teaching the world. If you can enjoy, if your joy is looking at others' growth, then your soul condition is perfect. If you cannot digest others' success, then it is seriously, there is an issue with you. Then you have to sit down and work on it. If you are not able to see others' success, then it means your soul condition is very bad. But remember, my dear friends, we are not just one. There are many compartments, many departments we need to take care. The physical, emotional, mental and the soul. Whatever we do, the physical conditions, don't take it to extremes. The emotional conditions, don't react. When it comes to the mental conditions, take care of the mind. Be pure. When it comes to the soul conditions, be in service. No pity. There are so many things. But the more you understand everything, the more you revise one by one, it is very easy to follow. So these are the four conditions one has to take care every moment. Thank you very much.